What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our ACC football channel. First play of the game here against Louisville. Notre Dame coming up, or Louisville coming up with an interception. That was the very first play from scrimmage. So that's a big time, big time momentum uh, booster there for the Cardinals. This game's going to be on Labor Day night. Uh, well, Notre Dame gets a touchdown there. It's 7-6, second quarter. Louisville coming back with a touchdown. It's 16-10 to 10 at this point. Notre Dame going to get a touchdown to take the lead back. And this was a really good game, close game. We had it live here on the channel back a couple, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, some of you probably watched it. But uh, we continue here with the touchdown for Louisville. They would go for two but not get it. So 22-17 to 17 the score here in the third quarter. Moving ahead, Notre Dame's Ian Book runs one in. And they have the lead. Now they'll go for two. And they'll get it. So now they're up by three. Cardinals with the football here under two minutes to play in the ball game. Juwan pass to the end zone. Touchdown, and Louisville has the lead. They're thinking about a big-time upset here. But with just a few seconds of play, Notre Dame goes up to the end zone. It is caught, and the Irish will win this game. They survive 32-29. to like Louisville might pull off a huge upset there in the opener, but Notre Dame does find a way to win. There is that play at the end. Uh, just unbelievable finish of this game. They play New Mexico next. Uh, we're going to assume that they win that game, and we're going to skip ahead to the Georgia game. We also showed you this one live on the channel back. Um, this was one of the first ones we did. It's been several weeks. Uh, early on, Notre Dame dominated this game. Ian Book runs it in there. They're up 14 to nothing here in the second quarter on third down and goal. They set up a screen pass. That's a touchdown. Notre Dame's up 21 to nothing. Looks like this is going to be a blowout. Uh, second quarter now, third down and six. Georgia trying to get back in the game. They get stopped again. Notre Dame has all the momentum, but this is where things turn. Late in the first half, there's a fumble on the play. Georgia picks it up, and they're going to run it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. So Georgia with some momentum here. And we're still in the first half, a minute to play. Maybe Notre Dame should have just taken a knee and went to the locker room and said they tried to get aggressive, and they fumble the football again. And Georgia will get a field goal out of that. So 21 to 10. We move on to the third quarter. Jake Fromm runs one in. It's 21 to 17. And then it was the Georgia defense just dominating the second half of this game. Notre Dame couldn't do anything. 24 to 21 the score here. Georgia ahead. Notre Dame trying to pick up a third down here. And they are not going to get it. Georgia all over it. And again, that defense played really, really well in the second half of this game. They're still up by three. There goes DeAndre Swift. He will run one all the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. They are up by 10. Notre Dame, what happened? They were up 21-0. Georgia with 31 unanswered points. Notre Dame finally gets on the board here, and it's a three-point game. So they'll go onside kick. They don't get it, and because they had already used a couple of timeouts, that's it. Ball game is over. Georgia will win 31-28. Uh, that's a tough loss for Notre Dame, especially when you look at uh, where this game started, where they had that big lead, and they really blew it. Uh, so that's going to be their first loss of the season. Moving on to the next game against Virginia, a team that I really like this year. I think Virginia is going to be pretty good. Uh, let's go and see what happened in this one. Early on, Virginia takes a lead. Bryce Perkins runs it in. Cavaliers up 7 to nothing. First quarter, there's the Notre Dame defense, though, making a big play, trying to get some momentum for them on third down. And 24, it is a sack, and it is a safety. How about that Notre Dame defense? So 7-5 here, they would add a field goal. Still Virginia, though, on top. Ian Book sets up a screen pass. 10-5, touchdown, Notre Dame. Going to take the lead. 15-10 here, third quarter. Virginia still fighting. They get a touchdown. They take the lead back. Back and forth we go. This was a great game. They're going to go for two here, try to make it a three-point game, and they'll pick it up. So 18-15 to the score. Third down and four now for Notre Dame. That's going to be incomplete. So, Virginia comes up with a big stop. Notre Dame going to try to tie it up at 18. They would. So, 18 all here in the fourth quarter. Virginia on a third down at 14. They're going to get stopped. So, Notre Dame with a big stop there. They get the ball back with a chance to take the lead. Ian Book to throw across the middle. It's caught down near the 35-yard line. Third down and 12 now for Ian Book. Third down. Uh, they're going to break a tackle there, get down about the 35. Not going to pick up the first down, but they're going to attempt a long field goal here. It's up, and it's good. So Notre Dame with a huge kick there. 
Virginia now on fourth down. Might be their last chance. And they're not going to pick it up. Good defense from the Irish again. Third down and 14 now for Notre Dame as they just look to run the clock out. Where they're going to get stopped, so Virginia will have another opportunity. About a minute to play here. They connect for a first down. 40 seconds to play. Virginia can tie it with a field goal. They're down inside the 20-yard line. So here we go. This is pretty much to force overtime. The kick is up, and it is, it's no good. He missed it. He missed it. Not a long kick there. He just missed it to the left. Wow. So Notre Dame catches a break. They will get the win here, and that is a that was a close call. They play Bowling Green next. We did simulate that one. We're going to assume the Notre Dame won. Hopefully next year we'll have all the rosters done plenty early, and I can simulate every single game. That's the, the hope. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Uh, the next game is against USC. We showed this game as well live on the channel back a couple of weeks ago. Tied at 10 here in the third quarter. Kind of a low-scoring game. Notre Dame's defense comes up with a sack. Uh, and they get a stop there. So USC is going to take a 13 to 10 lead with a field goal. Now third down and 14 for the Irish. Ian Book is taken down for the sack. Uh, so USC has it now. Third and three. That's complete. And USC is just looking to run some clock out here. And another first down is probably going to end this game. And they get it. They get down to the one yard line, then punch it in for the touchdown. Puts them up by 10. Notre Dame out of time, really, here. Fourth down, last chance to just stay in the game. Ian Book uh, delivers, finds an open receiver, and that is going to be a touchdown. The game's not over yet. The game is not over yet, but they will have to have this onside kick because they only have two timeouts. They're not going to get it, and USC would survive 20-17. to 17. So, um, again, sort of like the Georgia game. Notre Dame in the late comeback attempt uh, comes up just short. So they have two losses now. Heading into a big-time matchup with Michigan. Let's go to that game now. Early on, Wolverines with the football. Shea Patterson finding his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. 7-0. First quarter still here. Notre Dame. That is intercepted. What a play there. Michigan's defense is going to take it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. 17-6 now. Notre Dame with it. And there is a sack. Michigan's defense played really well in this game. 20-6 uh, to six here, though. Notre Dame still fighting. First play of the fourth quarter. They get a touchdown, get it back to a one-possession game. Third and four for Michigan. They get stopped. So Notre Dame has a chance to tie this game up with a touchdown. Third and eight. Ian Book. That's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Michigan's defense comes up with another stop. Now they just look to run some clock. Third down and two. This is a big play in this game. As Notre Dame gets a stop, and now they have an opportunity again to tie it up. They're inside the 20-yard line. Third down and goal. Book is going to be sacked, so it'll be fourth down. This is it. Final play of the game. A chance to force overtime. Book to throw to the end zone. Open receiver. It's called, but he's out of bounds. Oh, wow. He had his receiver, and look at this. He was just, just out of bounds. So almost, almost the game that was going to overtime there, but Michigan does survive. They win it. 20-13, to 13, Notre Dame with their third loss of the season. So it doesn't look like they're going to be headed back to the playoffs in our simulation. Up next, Notre Dame hosts, hosts Virginia Tech. 13-7, to 7, second quarter. Notre Dame going to take uh, it in for the touchdown. Jafar Armstrong, they increase their lead. A big fourth down and goal here for Virginia Tech. Ryan Willis runs it in, and we are back to a one-possession game. 23-14, late in the first half. Ian Book taking a shot deep. Finds his man. That is going to be a touchdown. Irish, big play there as it's 30, uh, now 30 to 21. Virginia Tech trying to come back in the third quarter. They're stopped on third down. Just couldn't get it going. There's actually a fumble on the play, and Notre Dame will run it in, and that is going to be a big, big momentum uh, shift there as Notre Dame, as Virginia Tech was trying to come back. They had some momentum, but Notre Dame uh, puts their foot down on them. 55 to 28, the final score. And that was the only loss of the season for Virginia Tech. We've already done their simulation. We did it uh, this past weekend. And yeah, they, they won every other game. So Virginia Tech is actually potentially a playoff team. Uh, we'll see how it all shakes out. we got to see if they can uh, beat Clemson in the ACC championship. But uh, Notre Dame over Virginia Tech here, 55-28. to 28. Uh, That's a big win. Big win there for the Irish. They go on the road to face Duke up next. Third down and goal here. 
as the Blue Devils will have a lead early, 7-0, but Notre Dame comes back. And they get a touchdown, 7-all. Now Duke with it. Quentin Harris runs it in, 14-7 Duke. 14-10 here. Notre Dame's defense gets a big stop, a big sack there. Third and, a second and 22 again, another sack. And Notre Dame's defense really playing well in this second quarter, but uh, we, yeah, they get a stop here. That was third and 29. They almost picked that up. So 14 to 10, Duke still on top. And Notre Dame with it. They're about the 15 yard line. Book to the end zone. That's caught. Touchdown. And the Irish have the lead. Third down and goal now for Notre Dame. They get a touchdown, and the lead is pushed up. Actually, no, he was stopped just short. He was stopped just short. Uh, so they go field goal, 20 to 14. Now Duke on third and long, they get stopped. And really, Notre Dame just had all the momentum. Duke played well early, but uh, Notre Dame really turned this game around. But they couldn't get touchdowns. Had to settle for field goals, and that kept Duke in the game. 23 to 14, now the score. Uh, Notre Dame's defense again with a stop, uh, and again with a field goal. So that was kind of the story of this game. Duke couldn't do anything. Notre Dame couldn't put it in the end zone, but they could get field goals. And that just kept Duke hanging around. It's now just a five-point game, fourth quarter, third down and five. The ball is incomplete, and Duke is going to have a chance to pull off the upset. On first and ten, it's a sack, and once again, uh, that Notre Dame defense coming up big. Fourth down and 13, last chance for the Blue Devils. Harris running. And he is not even going to get rid of it. He is sacked. Ball game is over. Notre Dame, 26. Duke, 21. A pretty close game. Uh, and early on, again, Duke looked like the, they might have a chance to win this one. But Notre Dame's defense really clamped down in that second half. So uh, they will win. They move on to face Navy up next. 7-3 to three at this point. As Notre Dame going to add to their lead. Makes it 14-3. to 17-3 now. Ian Book, a little option play. That's a touchdown for the Irish. 24 to 3 here. Navy trying to get back in the game on a third and seven. They are sacked, and Notre Dame just, just dominated this game. 27 to 3 at this point. Booked to the end zone, makes it 34 to 3. 37 to 10, the final score. Notre Dame rolls over Navy, and now they get ready to face Boston College. They'll be at home for this matchup as they have, again, just three losses on the season. Might be enough if they went out to get to a New Year's Six. We'll have to wait and see how it shakes out. Here comes Boston College in the first quarter. Anthony Brown will run it in. Touchdown, Eagles. A 10 to nothing here. Boston College on top. And Notre Dame gets a touchdown, makes it 10 to seven. Fourth and goal, second quarter. This is a big stop. Uh, that was a huge stop. Fourth down and goal, Notre Dame gets a stop. Uh, they're down six at this point, but they get a touchdown to take the lead. 14-13 now. Third and eight, Book completes that pass. Big hit around the 25 yard line. They would get stopped, though, and have to settle for a field goal. 17-13 to the score. Now, here comes Boston College. Anthony Brown will fumble the football. How about that? Another goal line stop for the Notre Dame defense as they force the fumble. But they're still in trouble here as Boston College is only down by four. They got the ball. They pick up a fourth down and one conversion there. Anthony Brown going to take off here. And he fumbles again. He fumbled the football again. But they are able to recover. They're going to make it a fourth down and long. Ken... Can they get this off? He stays on his feet. Here we go. Oh, but he's hit just as he throws it. Wow, they almost were able to get that off. Notre Dame gets the first down here to run the clock out, and they will win 17-13. to It was a scare. It was a close game. The Irish hang on to win it, 17-13. to We've got one more game. Notre Dame at Stanford. Just showed you this one live yesterday. And uh, it was kind of a boring game, honestly. Uh, not a lot of offense in this one. Uh, Notre Dame coming up with an interception there. 10 to 3. Ian Book going to swing it out. And they would get it down to the goal line, punch it in. Makes it 17 to 3. And uh, yeah, Stanford really struggled on offense in this game. Book taking a shot here. That's a big play late in the third quarter. Makes it 24 to 3. Uh, 24 to 3 here for Stanford on a fourth down. Last chance to try to get some points. They just throw it up to the end zone. And it's incomplete. Uh, they did get this score, but, I mean, there was, what, three seconds left. The game was over. Uh, so 24 to 10, the final score. Notre Dame will go out with a big win. They finish the season 9-3. and three. Not what you would hope for if you're an Irish fan, especially after making the playoffs last year. Uh, you know, I think this team is, is probably more in the 10-2 the and two range. 
uh, this season, and maybe even better than that. But uh, nine and three is possible. When you look at the schedule, it wouldn't be that crazy to see this team go nine and three. We'll see how accurate this simulation turns out to be. Thank you for watching this video. If you are an ACC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in ACC football, keep it right here.